And to be honest, I am still nervous. Like it's a big, it's a big purchase. I'm gonna go to IKEA and so we're going. That's not normal. <laughs> it's massive. I also did a thing. I did a thing yesterday. It actually opens as well. <laughs> she honestly is just the happiest we've been. They've sorted their sh shit out. Hello, welcome to the vlog. I am slow today. I've got a headache. I used to get these headaches all the time, but I've not had it in a while, and today I woke up with it. Also, my period is beating me down like that. It's sunny outside, and I hate it. <laughs> I want it to be raining so I can go to my bed. That's chicken soup getting made. Mama Genevieve special. I hope you're all doing good. It's Tuesday today. Yesterday was, it was another day. It was another met day. I just honestly, I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting t absolutely wiped out this month. I did a, my live with Mary Greenwell. So good. Oh God, do you not think I look ill? I woke up this morning, I looked in the mirror and I was like, I don't know who you are. Puffy eyed little freak. I can just see it behind my eyes. I can see it behind this eye. This is where my headache is. Uh, I've taken medicine, it's not working. So I'm just gonna moan, I'm gonna moan. This week's vlog's gonna be great though. Do you know why? It's all about the house. All about, all about what I've been buying, how I'm styling the rooms. I've been buying some bizarre things that are making me really happy. The coolest lights, basically. And we're also starting to make way with more renovations of the house, which is really so exciting. The one room that I just, want to be in all the time is my makeup room upstairs this office is getting there it's a little bit unfinished like we've got like i don't like this light behind me so i want to go to ikea maybe i'll do that today that would be fun i want to go to ikea and get like a light for this room because i bought fun light bulbs which are worth the money i think so i want to get a lamp that can put my fun light bulb in and yeah it's just going to be a lovely week at home this week i've got some things to do i need to go and pick up my geranium from apersu because the moss was getting done i need to drop off the wedding rsvp to cara and i really want to go to ikea so maybe that that's what i'll do today i spent all morning watching youtube when i was filming i watched bailey Sarian, my favorite do you know i've never met bailey but i feel like we're friends and I feel like I love her. And Alana, I have met Alana, but I love her too. I just love it. I love it. I love the internet. I feel like I've got friends all over the place. I'm gonna catch up with you guys when I'm less manic and this eye decides to be the right size. I mean, look at, am I being mental or is that eye half the size as this eye? Can I see out of it? Rough start to the week, my dudes. Today has taken a turn for the better. I had chicken soup and then the meeting I was meant to be on, we had to move. And I was just sitting there, you know, I was sitting, I got my work done that was scheduled for today. And I was like, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to Ikea. I need a rug, I need a lamp. I'm gonna go to Ikea. And so we're going. And I just, I can't remember the last time. This is Tuesday, Tuesday at two o'clock. Yeah, we've well, not done anything midweek like this for months. Too long. Now that I'm here and I'm in the car and I'm out, I don't think I've left the house again for like four days there. Apart from walking, like walking out the house to go. Yeah, we've done a big walk. We did a big walk on the last week when I was soaking wet. But IKEA, the list is a big rug, maybe a plant, a light, and then maybe some storage solutions. But you know, IKEA, it cheers you up and spits you out. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm really excited now. I'm going to put on some jeans that, let me tell you, feel quite tight. I can't tell if the jeans are tight because they are clean or because I've not worn them in a while or because they're just feeling a bit tight. Which brings me on to my next subject. I have been thinking for about a month now about getting a Peloton. Like I said th this morning, I was watching Alana uh, Davidson, who I'm just so in love with. And Alana is kind of my fitness goals, if I'm being honest. She gets up early, Monday to Friday, and the first thing she does is goes on her peloton or goes to a class or something like that. And she looks fantastic and she looks healthy and strong. And I want to be like that. Jack's very up for it. And the one that I was looking at, you get two, you get a couple of different options with peloton, but their bike plus has a screen that you can pull out and put like a mat in front of, and you can do like hit classes. I'm not up for it in the sense of I would use it though. You have to You're because, up for it for me though. Cause yeah, I think you'd really enjoy it because yeah. you used to love cycle spin class, remember? Yeah. 
Now, when I went to Cycle Box, Mandy, who I still love so much, but for me, I kind of need the flexibility of being able to do it at home. I think the investment would make me do it. And if I just get into a routine, if I just make it a non-negotiable part of my life, I just really need to look after myself a bit better and, I don't know, like, look after my body. So I'm really thinking about it. Everyone that I've spoke to that has one is obsessed. And I think it just depends on what kind of exercise that you like. But I do like spin. I find it really difficult, but I like it. That's my thoughts of the day. Hmm. I'll think about it more because I like to think about purchases a lot before I make them because it makes it feel like, it, like it, it's a, I don't know, it makes it more exciting to me. And maybe by the end of this week we'll have a decision. Look at a big beard. It's too big now, isn't it? Do you think I should shave it? I think you should shave it, I'll get a fright. You know when baby... if I shaved it? Yeah, do you know, have you not seen the thing where it's like if a baby's dad has a beard and then shaves it off, the baby doesn't recognise its dad and then starts crying? Yeah, but you're a grown woman. I'd still cry. <laughs> I would still cry. We're close to the Holy Land. It's been too long. See that shopping centre right there? I used to work there for Lush. It was actually so good. <laughs> I loved it. I used to drive my wee mini every morning and I would go and park. And I remember I worked there at Christmas so it was so cold. So I just loved it and I would go and get a baked potato every lunchtime and spend all my wages on food. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just realising I actually need so many things. Is it comfy? It's quite comfy. It's <laughs> actually comfy. It's quite good, isn't it? I like the colour. What do you think of in here? I like this. Feels oh, my kitchen. I mean, during COVID, I'm not sure I would be tap tap tapping on buttons that people have tap tap tapped on. Mom, get out of my room. <laughs> I quite like that. I don't know if it's going to be too much in my room with all the. Kind of looks like a beehive. Oh. <laughs> now we're talking, look. I know. That's full of tea. Is that some nice ambiance? Well, this room is actually set up like you would want it. It smells it? really good in here, doesn't oh, no. it? I really they must have it. the Q sense on. The Gronlid. The Gronlid. Watch, don't put your shoes on it. Jack, I mean, this is. <laughs> for you. Can I get comfy? <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Do you think it's so nice? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not very sinkinable. Yes, it is. You don't sink into it, it's quite fun. I think you do. Storage what are these solutions. For? Makeup. Makeup storage? Yeah. I thought, do you think they're good or like we? I'll, I'll show you when we get home, I'll show you my vision. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh, he's a lovely big man. Oh, good morning. Give me a belly. Where's the good spot? There it is. <laughs> Isn't he great? You're six years old. I can't believe it. And Juno's going to be two. You're going to be two years old next week. <laughs> Are you guys best friends? <laughs> You're so sweet. Dropper, come and give me a big kiss. Come and give me a big kiss. Mm. <laughs> Look at this big wagon tail all the time. Who's a good boy? Guess he's coming to see. Is he going to be? Is he going to spend some time with his family? Good morning. Yesterday's trip to IKEA was very successful. I'll show you everything I got. It's really good. Their storage systems are so much better. You know, you always wanted just little trays or little boxes so you can organise your drawers. They never had anything like that for the longest time. They've sort sorted their sh shit out and now they've got really great stuff. So I went a bit ham actually. I stopped doing anything else to the house until I got this room done. And I, lo I love this room now. Still wee bits to do, but nothing crazy. But the office downstairs, I kind of neglected. We got it painted and we got the floors sanded and stained. And then we didn't really do much else after that. We moved in, I put all the stuff in my big apothecary cabinet thing and then after that I didn't do anything for the longest time I just went and got some stuff for that room and it looks so good now it looks so so good now and now I know exactly what I want to do 
So I'm just brushing my hair. Today is a busy day. I'm going to go and get my eyes tested. I've not had my eyes tested in three years and I think you're meant to go every year, especially if you need glasses. So I'm going to go and get my prescription and it's actually, it's quite good because they just do like an, like an eye health checkup at the same time, don't they? So I've got my eye test and then I'm coming home to film a little thing for press. And then I have got a meeting and then I'm going to Laura Miller. I'm going to get my top ups, which is great because they are due and I'm just really excited. I think I might do a ponytail today, you know. This is just looking sad. I also did a thing. I did a thing yesterday. I ordered the Peloton. I've been to and fro for, I think I first started really thinking about it when I first saw some of my friends with them and during lockdown, like now that I'm, now that I've ordered it, I'm like, I should have just done this at the start of lockdown. I was, that was kind of my mentality and then Jack made a really good point, he was like, you, you'll you say the same thing if you wait a month or two months, you'll be like, I wish I'd just gone it back then. So I just did it, I did it, I can't believe it. I did really think about it. And to be honest, I am still nervous. Like it's a big, it's a big purchase, but it's for my health, I guess. Like it's different. I just really hope that I can get into a good routine. In worst case scenario, you can sell them. So that was my thought. That was my thought process. And I was lying last night and I've, do you know how many times I've gone on their website and I've added it, added it to my car and I've picked my shoes and added it to my car and then I left it. I've done that, no joke, maybe like 10 times. So last night I just did it. I just did it! So I think I'm going to set it up in the conservatory. Such a nice room to do it in. I don't think we're going to be getting crazy hot weather because the only time that I don't think it would be great is when it's roasting hot. But at the same time, that's kind of like a, a Bikram spin class. I mean, that would definitely put me on my last legs, wouldn't it? That is arriving on Monday, which I thought was quite soon. I ordered it and then you pick your slot and I got Monday morning. Oh yeah, I'm really excited. And it's going to be just a, a non-negotiable. As soon as I get it, I'm going to set it up and I'm going to just, I'm going to make myself do it every day. I think that that's quite a, an encouraging thing. You know, when people say, yes, it's difficult and yes, it's crap and no, I don't want to do it. But afterwards, I'm always really happy I've done it. And for me, needed, like, I really want to do something. I really want, I want to change the way that I've been working out or not working out at all. And this feels like it could be the answer, really. It's just the, the freedom it gives as well and the... The fact it's just downstairs and I can jump on. I got the app. That's actually a really good point. See if you're thinking about it. You can get just the app and follow classes on the app and you can get the app for your TV. So if you put like a yoga, like a yoga mat down, you can do all the like hit classes and stuff. So you could try it out that way first. And I just want to be different. I want to change it up a bit. I hate the fact that I can go days where I just get out of my bed and then I sit on my computer and then the, like the most I'll do is walk outside for like an hour, half an hour and that's like Jack actually is the person that walks the dogs every single day. I usually don't so it's not good. It's just not good. So I'll let you know next week when I get it and then we're just going to challenge me aren't we? We're all going to hold me accountable to use the Peloton. Oh my god. I haven't worn skinny jeans in ow, a really long time. These actually are excellent though. They are the good American skinny jeans. They're they're stretchy but they're still thick. They're very good. I just wanna I just I just wanna Shh. What that bike went so quick. Eye test time. I'm not that blind. But this eye is starting to act a little bit funny. I feel like my vision out of this eye is not as good as that eye. So we'll see what's what's happening. I have an astigmatism. I have one round eyeball and one rugby shaped eyeball apparently, which is why I get headaches when I don't wear my glasses. Does that mean I wear my glasses? No, it doesn't. It means that I suffer headaches and then I moan about them to you guys. So this is my new opticians since we moved. Uh, it's just a wee independent one. I've literally never been here before in my life. <laughs> but I'm gonna go. Oh, how we deteriorate as we age. Hello. My eyes are fine. I was having a bit of a thing. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to worry you. One of my pupils 
kept on going bigger than the other. It was nearly almost after flying and I think that maybe that's why, I don't know why, maybe it's because I was sitting next to like a bright window or something, but my left pupil kept on going bigger than my right. I did the thing that you shouldn't do and I googled it. This is full of terrifying information. But my I got my eyes checked, healthy as anything. My prescription has got worse, as I guessed. So I've got my new prescription. I think I'm gonna get my old glasses with new glass put in them, but I'm not sure. I'm currently in the worst traffic and I'm on my way for my top ups. I had a meeting there with the team. Guys, I know that it's really boring hearing things that you can't like, I can't tell you anything yet, but you are going to love the campaign that we're shooting next for Vive. I am so excited. It's mega. It's too exciting. So that's what we were chatting about today. I had to film a little thing. You literally would never know. I filmed something and then took it off. Had my meeting and now I'm away on my way to my appointment. I think something bad happened on the motorway because it's did literally at a standstill. But I will talk to you when I get to Age Refined, which actually looks like it's going to be five minutes late and I'm so sorry. <laughs> Look how lovely it is in here. It is so nice. Look, fresh flowers and everything. Love it. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. See these lines? No more. See these lines? No more. Get them away. Be gone. Be gone. I've also been talking about... I just... I don't, I'm, I'm, this is, I'm literally coming in like, what do you think? The back is all as good, but it's just in time. You'll look like you for two weeks. Two whole weeks. Is that Kybella? Yeah, I don't think I've got two weeks to spare. It's not not painful, is it? No, it's fine. Is it? Right, okay. Okay, I'm going to think about it. One session. I'm just over it. I don't want it to over it. <laughs> I think maybe a wee bit of my lips again. Just cause my top lip can look not small, but see when I smile. Yeah, it's, like, it's because we never took it out your bottom lip, so you're it's always balancing for your bottom lips, being bigger than being thin. Yeah. Juicing up your top lip a wee bit of Okay, nice. Oh, exciting. It's good to be back. Right, my carbs down on your face now. And relax. And these then goes up for me. So you lightly will come back with still some lines above your brows that mm -hmm. you have through that gate. But that will still give you a wee lift at the brows, which you like. It's the lift that I like the best, eh? Yeah. And then screw your eyes up for me. Not even worthwhile doing that, but a wee totty totty wee bit. And then blow my wee kiss. And then a wee sad face if you can. Perfect, and relax. Right, clench for me. And relax. i keep my fingers maybe clench again. That's not normal, is it? <laughs> And this is just going to weaken the muscle. Yeah, definitely. When you overuse a muscle, it's like using a muscle in the gym, it gets bulkier and bulkier. Mm -hmm. And you really overuse these muscles, so they're, they're getting big. So when you weaken the muscle, it weakens the muscle and it mm. comes in a little bit. I'm going to try and train myself out of uh, like clenching my jaw. I don't know if you can. So if you keep your mouth like that, you can't clench your jaw. It's dead hard, though. We're going to be walking about with mouth feel a bit dafty, like a big mouth breather. <laughs> Botox first. Ready for that? Mm -hmm. so five injections on here. Mm -hmm. Just relax your wee face. Good girl. I'm done. You're a pro with this anyway. Good job. And again. So my Botox is all done. This is my lips before. And I'm not going to film this because I used to be so good when I was like early 20s, but it's just a wee bit nippy and I screw my eyes up and I don't want to film it. Oh my god. I had clothes on, cute clothes, I had a little cord on and I have to change, I had to change because I'm so cold today, I'm so cold. Right, here, let's fix this here. Hello, it is Saturday. You ready to get into it? Home decor. I am so excited to show you this. I'm going to do my best to go through everything. I'm going to give you a tour of this room in a whole separate video because we can go right into it. I haven't spoke to you since my appointment at the Bell Forum, so this is me. Uh, Botox won't work yet. Don't be fooled by my eyebrows giving me a facelift. I actually filmed how to do brows this morning. I actually also went to get my extensions taken out and I got my hair toned. So I'm back to this 
kind of bronze, but I've got nice bright bits at the front, which is my favourite. And we actually didn't cut anything off my hair at all. So this is just my hair. It's grown quite a lot. This is me, I got a little bit of my lips. We used to, so when I was young, I used to go and get like a whole mill put in my lips. I don't anymore. I think maybe I had a quarter of a mill put in. We just do the border, so I've got a nice definition. And then my Botox, I've got Botox eyes, a little bit of my forehead in there, but look, I can still do this just now. And then we focus on my masseters. I've spoken about this a million times, but I get really bad tension headaches from clenching my jaw. And this for me helps a bunch. I can already kind of start to feel it working. And I only got it done three days ago. So yeah, I'm really happy. And I just did my makeup this morning because me and Jack are going to the cinema tonight. And I just like to get ready. Like I said, I had a cute outfit on and then I had to take it off because it was too small. Uh, and now I'm in my cum phase. I am obsessed with Gymshark. They sent me a bunch of clothes. This jumper is one of them. Love it. These leggings. Another thing that they sent. And I actually got there. Sports bra on, buzzing to show you what we're gonna do with this house. The plans. I posted a reel on my Instagram and like on TikTok as well. I've always wanted to film something like this. It's like, you know, the, the fun transitions of like a room that's not done up and then you shut the door and then you open the door and the room's finished. And it looks very satisfying. I did one of those, I'll put it on the screen here. And it's 17 seconds long. I'll take the music out so I don't get demonetized, but it'll just be playing here. But look how good, look how good. I'm so chuffed. I'm really, really proud of it. I love my room. Let me show you about. Look at this big man. <laughs> he actually loves it in here so much. So this is my makeup room slash wardrobe slash filming room. I've shut the curtains just now just to show you how nice the light is. It honestly doesn't even feel like there's a curtain shut because you get loads of nice natural light still but it just feels really cozy and private. I love it. I'm going to do a full tour of this room because the storage solution really really worked for me. So is this little desk, like at one point I was looking at getting a desk made or whatever, I was looking at like the expensive desks and I just realised I was like, Ikea is brilliant. See if the shoe fits, it's the same with the pack system. It works so well for me, so why change it really? The only thing I'm going to do that I've mentioned before, but I'm really excited about it, is I'm going to get our amazing joiner to make a little bit of, is it an architrave? Basically like a bit of a ornamental lip that will go at the top here and right along and what that'll do is it'll make the wardrobe look built in rather than an Ikea unit. Unfortunately when I went to Ikea at the start of the week, uh, the little caps that they sell to fill these holes were sold out so I'm still waiting to get them but I think that once those are in it will make a big difference and make it look a, a little bit less Ikea I guess, no offence Ikea. I think it's really functional. <laughs> My colour scheme accidentally is very aesthetically pleasing. I'm going to order some different hangers. I actually might get some gold metal hangers, you know, just for a wee touch of something else. I've been quite careful in this room not to have too much gold going on. This like palm tree lamps probably the kind of key piece and then even these shelves which a lot of people have messaged me saying Jamie you've got them the wrong way around I don't the bar details meant to go to the front and I suppose the key places that I got the stuff is IKEA for this unit and this desk and this rug Zara home is my new favorite thing I am obsessed I got this rug from Zara home and then Olivia's, so Olivia's have been working with me, which is just so exciting, and they gifted me this amazing faux cowhide. So it's not cowhide at all, it's faux, but it looks great. And these shelves as well are from Olivia's. Things that I got from Zara Home, like how cute is this little gold watering can? I also got this photo frame, which has actually got a print from Decenio that I cut. We've got like a little guillotine downstairs and I just cut it to size to fit that photo frame and I really like it. Same with these two prints. Both of those are from Decenio, as are the frames. And I just think it makes such a difference having something on the walls. I actually think that's one thing that I'd like to change is just a little bit more on the walls 
would be great. I don't mind the walls looking busy. I quite like things to be, I suppose, a wee bit stripped back. It's not completely minimal in here. You know, we've got shelves, we've got a lot of stuff going on in there. But this room, I actually don't mind being a bit busier and a bit more homely. Like our bedroom, when we finally get that done, will be quite minimal with not too much going on. So I quite like this room. It's almost like a bit of a makeup li library room or something. This plant has grown so much since I got it. I cannot believe it. So this is a, a pothos, in case anyone's wondering. And so far, so good. Really easy to look after. I do usually have these open so all the plants can get loads of light. Monstera's doing good. No new leaves yet since we repotted them. I'm really hoping to see something soon. And then I suppose I've kind of dressed these shelves more than I usually would. And like our, the wicker baskets and stuff are actually all empty. So I just need to do a little bit of shuffling in here. And I wanted my shelves to be a little bit less busy than the old house. So I've just got these storage baskets. They are all from Ikea as well. And then I've actually just put a bag in each ducat for the moment. But I'm not sure if I like it. What do you think? I'm not sure. I feel like you guys will have seen this already. So I won't spend too much time in here, but I will film a whole video. I Maybe I'll wait until this bit's done and it's completely finished. And actually, we need to swap this light out as well. But this is my little makeup room. I think it's a glow up on my last room for sure. You know, it's just a bit bigger, a bit more space. I feel like it's a bit more grown up as well, which I suppose suits seeing as I am a grown up. Next thing I'm going to show you is our bedroom. So we had a carpet down. Uh, we ripped it up. It feels like progress, if that makes sense. I just really needed the carpet gone so we could see what we were working with. And the next step for in here is electrics. All these sockets and skirtings that's uh, deemed dangerous now, so it's just old wiring. We're going to get this room all rewired and simplify it down so there's just some sockets either side of where the bed will go. Maybe a socket here and my plan is to have the bed here, bedside tables, a big chest of drawers for my clothes. Then maybe like a chair in the window would be really nice because I just think that that is so beautiful. And all these windows have been refer um, replaced. So these are brand new windows, which is so good. And then in here is our bathroom, which also has a new window. So the old window in this room was super rotten. Uh, so it got completely replaced. And then I decided to go for a clear pane of glass on the bottom. So this doesn't have any privacy glass, which obviously is not great considering I am naked here a lot. What I'm gonna do is get a really cool brass or like, like a curtain rail almost and just have a really nice sheer curtain so you can pull it back if we want, which I th think would be really nice. Now the bathroom, uh, is a mess, <laughs> as you can see. Really cool plan for in here. It's actually my mum's idea because we've been trying to figure out this layout because I want a freestanding bath. I like having a cabinet with a sink to for storage. I like having a huge big mirror, especially because the lighting is so nice. But I also wanted to keep a shower and I didn't want, I wasn't sure about the space. My mum had a great idea. We're going to rip all this out literally right back to the bare bones. We're going to take the shower away from here and just have a big roll top bath or a freestanding bath there. Keep the cabinet and the sink there. And then what we're gonna do over here, so this goes straight into Jack's wardrobe. We're gonna steal a shower amount of space. So the door into the shower is actually on this wall. So you open the door and you go, or you have a bifold door into a shower that's like in a little bit of a kind of cave, I guess. It will just be like a little, nook, a shower nook. And then the biggest changes in here, well, well it's going to be everything. We're going to get a new cabinet, new bath, everything in here is getting ripped out and it's going to be new. You are so cute today, Dropper. Definitely going to have a big mirror here, but we're going to get rid of these two lights and we're going to have a chandelier in the ceiling here. I'm really excited. I'm a bit nervous because that's actually, this is like our first big job that we have to do. Everything else has been fine and easy to live with, but we'll have to say goodbye to the bath for a while, which I'm being a grown up about. I'm not going to, I'm not going to cry about it uh, in front of you anyway. <laughs> I think what we're going to wait for is wait until we've got the suite ordered, wait until we've got the tiles and the paint and everything, and then we'll, we'll start working really, uh, which is great. So as soon as the bathroom's done, the bedroom can get done and the floor we're putting in here I cannot wait for. We're getting a solid oak floor, a herringbone, so it's almost like parquet flooring. 
and it's going to get stained dark and then this room's going to be kept super light and airy and we're going to have the panelling all on the walls. Our joiner is going to make these doors like hidden doors so you push it so you go ch -ch -ch, and the door will open with the panelling on the walls and then we'll get rid of this <laughs> ancient TV. And that's what's going on in there and then I'm going to take you upstairs. So Jack's office is also going to be getting done up. This is still just old. <laughs> it's still old. We've had it rewired already. The next thing we're getting is this window's getting replaced. So we've ordered it already, but it takes about six weeks. And then if we go upstairs, we have our attic. I love this room so much, but it's quite a big job because we need to replace these windows. And you can see from here, it's all glazed over. But what we want to do is see actually up here, that's empty space. So what we could do is replace this window and change it out to a window that's the same kind of width, but it actually has a peak. Instead of it being like a dormer window like this, it'll actually be a proper like bay window right in that has a window that comes to a point. That to me is really exciting. I'm waiting to hear back from a construction company to see if they can come and see if it's possible. But I think this room is gonna be a bit of a mix match between a fun room and maybe a bedroom as well, just because it is huge, like. Look at the signs, but it reminds me of our old house, but in our old house, I would hit my head off the ceiling all the time. I'd really love another wooden floor up here with nice rugs, you know, the way that I like it. And just for it to be a really fun, cozy room, and then one day it can be a bedroom or something. Not to put any ideas in your mind because nothing is happening, but imagine being a teenager and having this bedroom. We would literally be the happiest kid ever. And then we literally, we just keep this door shut because it is a lot. <laughs> I love it when the sun's out and it's just so bright in there. But then we have the office. This is so exciting to me. Again, it's not fully finished, but it feels so nice. In here, oh, the heating's on as well. Um, so I went to Ikea and I got this really cute little light. I'll try and find it all online. I know that IKEA you can shop online, but I'll try and find all these wee things. But I love this. Again, it's like a wee touch of gold. I love the fluted glass. And then I also got this light, which honestly, see if it wasn't on the table, I wouldn't like it because it's about the same height as me and that's just not quite tall enough. But see, at night, with the light pointing up the way, it just lights the whole room in a really nice soft way. I really, really like it. And then this big mirror I have had since our little flat. How amazing. So I remember me and Jack went to a antiques market uh, in the Barras. If you're from Glasgow, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But we went to the Barras and I bought this mirror. I think it was like 50 quid. Proper old antique mirror. I was convinced I could fit it in my mini and take it home. And the woman was like, you're not gonna fit that in your car. So her husband dropped it off in his van. But this has been literally with me and Jack since we've lived together. It's never had a proper home, but on this wall, it just looks so good. And it really bounces the light in from the window. The window comes in and then it bounces the light back. And I really, really like it. We also hung up the Vive sign, my dad did it. <laughs> but look how cool it is when it's on. It just, it's just so nice, it's so exciting. And then I've made sure no one try and bloody pause the video and try and look for secrets, cause there's none. This apothecary unit, I've, I've talked about it quite a lot, but it's just a, such a feature in this house. I've always wanted one and I commissioned it to be made by our joiner who is called the Glasgow Joiner. I'll put his information down below. Uh, I did pay for it, everything. Um, he didn't ask me to mention him, but I just think he's so brilliant. So still working through this. These drawers are nearly filled up and I've got my little dream PR cupboard. How cool is that? So good, love it. Another thing I've finally done is frame some of the press that we've been in, some of the publications that we've been in. And it's just like the awards that we've won, the piece that launched the brand in Sunday Time Style. That's the Vogue article. We were 
it's uh, I was <laughs> get a bit shy. When I won Beauty Mogul of the Year, Grazia, the full page, so cool. Sunday Time Style again, I wons, and then that was the first time we were on a cover. Grazia. And then this is Glamour, when we launched as well. So I finally started framing some stuff, just so we can look at it and be excited. These chairs are from Olivia's. They are so, so cool. All the Olivia stuff I mentioned is gifted and you can use code Jamie20 for 20% off. But I got two. Jack sits in here and works with me all the time now because we've got the space, which is so nice. This money tree, my mom and dad got me for my birthday and he is thriving. He is thriving. And I just love, actually, apparently these trees can go really big and he's been really easy to look after as well. We've got some more plants. This is a spider plant that my mum and dad gave me. This plant pot is amazing. That's also from Olivia's. We've got a crate. So this crate's actually just from Silver Birch Garden Centre. I think they were using it to prop something up and I asked if I could buy them and that was allowed. Then we've got some more plants. I have no idea what these are. I think that's a type of monstera. Just talking about plants, if you're looking for something again, it's really, really easy to look after. The rubber plants are so great. They grow really fast, so it's very um, encouraging because <laughs> he's grown so fast. Love him in the window. This table is also from Olivia's. The marble and the gold, I just think is so nice. And then these two rugs are from Ikea. This is actually the same one as I've got upstairs and then they had a big jute rug and I wanted something that was a bit more durable because you know we're in here a lot, the dogs love it in here so I wanted just something that would make it look nice. I've actually come up here to get my phone but I wanted to show you this. So I briefly mentioned it last week but I think that this is the nicest thing I've bought in so long. This is the Ottoman in brown leather from Pure White Lines. Pure White Lines, I'm obsessed. I found her Instagram through Lou Teasdale. I follow Lou Teasdale on Instagram. I think she is so stylish with the way that she decorates. I just love it. I've been just going on their website all the time and I saw this ottoman and I, I kind of knew that I wanted a, like a seat for here and it's perfect. I found a couple on Etsy but they just didn't quite look the same. Like this has got the nicest details, proper, amazing feet. It actually opens as well, there's nothing in it just now, but it's great for storage. And I just think it is so gorgeous. I sit on this all the time and just look around my room. Another thing, just in case you guys are wondering, this big mirror is from Zara Home. Um, it's perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. I actually could have probably gone for something a bit bigger, but see for fit checks, it's great. So good. She honestly is just the happiest we've been. <laughs> I think I've touched on the things that I'll get asked the most questions about, but if there's anything that you've seen that I've not mentioned, just ask me down below and I'll let you know. Another thing that I got, we're, we're moving on to electrical and lighting. Now it's daytime, so it won't look so good, but I will post it on my Instagram for anyone that, that cares. This is, a sunlight lamp. So this, literally, you plug it in USB onto your computer or your laptop or whatever, and it creates a sun. It is the most relaxing thing, and it's powerful, like, look. But see, at night time when this is on, it actually does look like a sun. It looks like the full sun. How incredible. I mean, I wish it was night time so I could show you properly, but these have gone kind of viral at the moment on TikTok, so I've wanted one for a long time and I spent ages looking at reviews and some of them are meant to be really crap, but this one's really good, so I'll link it down below because I am obsessed. It's like £25 and it's brilliant. See for it even in your bedroom or like when me and Jack are watching films, I plug it in and change my lights to the same colour, which I'll show you right now. And then the last thing that I got, which is something again, I feel like this week has been a a week for purchasing things I've wanted. I really wanted the Philips Hue lights. Now I got, I had one light bulb randomly, I don't know why, I had a weird, like random Philips Hue light that we could use as just a light bulb, but you need the 
Hue bridge to connect to your Wi-Fi to control the lights. So I bit the bullet. I bought like a starter kit that came with the Hue bridge, which is what you plug into the Wi-Fi to control it. And I bought three more light bulbs. It's so smart. You can like custom create your settings. So right now I've just got it on like a normal mode. And like office, all lights are on. Look, if I press night, it turns them pink. Both my IKEA lamps fit these bulbs. So these are the E27 bulbs. See at night time when I've got my pink lights on, obviously you can't really tell during the day, but when I've got my pink lights on and my sunset lamp, this place is a freaking vibe. It's as easy as this. Turn it to work and then play. Work, play. The most probably unnecessary thing, but the most exciting thing ever. The way I justified it was when I'm sitting here, this room's north facing so it can get quite dark and if I am looking at submissions for products, see if I'm looking at colours and things, I can't get a true tell of what the colour is but these lights you can make them like white, you can make them like white light, you can make them like daylight so I just point the lamp down at me and I've got perfect light for doing all my product samples. We also got them for in here, so if I turn that on. So look, day, night. How cool! Love it. I've also fallen down a rabbit hole because apparently you can get strip lights that go like above your TV or behind your TV cabinet that also make cool light. I'm obsessed. Oh my god, as well. See in Ikea, they actually have cute stuff like this as well now. I mean, I don't know what it's for, but I bought it. So you guys, that was a little update for you. I feel like this room has hugely improved just with like soft furnishings. The two rugs, I think it made a huge difference. Finally having some stuff on the walls. I actually remember in our old house, we got half the house, like all the walls fixed and we got them replastered and everything like that. And it took me ages to put anything on the walls because the walls were so new and fresh and I was scared of ruining them. But as soon as we started hanging some stuff up, I was like, this is what a home's like. This is what a home is meant to be like. Stuff on the walls, things to look at. Uh, yeah, so it's just feeling really good. Feeling really nice. I'm gonna have, a big plant here and then I think I'm going to make a bit of a gallery wall behind the light and the TV uh, and the computers and stuff just so this wall's nice and busy and we're going to keep that wall plain because I think we're going to end up doing some filming in here. I think this room, the next step that would finish it off really is finishing off the walls but also getting a couple of chairs for the window. I think two comfy chairs in the window and maybe like a little coffee table would make it just so. I hope you guys all had a good week. My week was weird. It was so weird. <laughs> I've been saying things and stopping and saying things and stopping. So I'm not really sure what to say. But I just want to say <laughs> that having you all has been a real joy the last couple of weeks. A wee bit of a quietly difficult time um, in my family. And it's made me think that... I'm so glad that I've just got a really kind community because it's such an easy place to be. It's such an easy place to work. And, you know, I'm never usually like nervous of sharing anything. And But I just want to know, it, you to know, it makes such a difference having that escape. I've had messages from you guys before saying that I'm that place for you sometimes if you're going through a hard time. You just watch the vlogs and see what's going on, do a bit of makeup with me. But likewise, uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks. I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, I just got curl up in a ball. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I mean, that looks so grim. Oh my god. I had to see you leave, but I love to watch you walk away. I feel. <laughs> Am I losing my mind? Let there be light. Oh, my leg. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Get him, get him.